and welcome back to a brand new video so today is a bit of a special day because it's the autumn equinox so this happens once a year around the 21st 22nd of september and it's the equinox day and it's actually at 1 43 p.m today and it's uh, basically a rise from the uh, the latin term um equal uh, which is day and night. So yeah, come and join me on this bit of a special day today. carpet so we're gonna have a, a bit of a walk past central pier um, not so far as south pier but yeah I just have a, a bit of a walk around you can see the sea is uh, lovely and calm and uh, there's just a, a few little spots of rain in the uh, but yeah we're gonna have a, a bit of a walk around um, on this uh, bit of a bit of a different day it's uh, it's amazing just do, doing a bit of reading on the uh, the equinox and uh, you know, so historically, it's a, it was a time to honor the bounty of your harvest and reap what was sown. It's amazing, you know, how, how times have changed um, to what we, uh, we used to believe in. So yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna head on, um, like I said, uh, past Central Pier, um, up a few streets and uh, see what's going on on this uh, bit of a historic day. It's just amazing sometimes just watching people walk past, you know, life in general, how things change. Nothing ever, ever stays the same, sadly. So yeah, just walking past the comedy carpet up towards that uh, central pier. And you can see uh, it's such a change from yesterday. All of this area was completely, uh, completely busy with the fireworks. And what a display um, they put on yesterday. It's magnificent Finland. Certainly one to, uh, certainly one to challenge. And they'll be back um, in a couple of weeks for the, uh, the final display. You see the uh, lollipops are not moving really. Everything seems to be sort of still and sort of dash of eeriness about it today. But yeah, we got the donkeys on the beach. They never fail to uh, tell let us down. So yeah, we're going to move on a little bit further. Maybe have a look at a few, uh, few of the old hotels and see if they're still standing. 
uh, and see if we can uh, rekindle some of those memories for some viewers. And the, uh, the spindles are, uh, we've seen these many times and the light up absolutely fantastic at night. You see people walking through, grabbing the, uh, grabbing the pictures and uh, they certainly, certainly bring the, uh, the front to life. Yeah, just coming up near at Central Pier now, and you see the uh, the big wheel that's going round. You see the uh, donkeys on the beach, and they've been here for uh, for hundreds and hundreds of years. Always a always a great attraction. And you see the uh, the Odyssey there. And what an amazing uh, attraction that is. The smoke comes out, it plays music. If you haven't tried that one, uh, you can have a walk through that. And that is a, that's a great one. And we've even got a, a bus just near Central Pier. So we'll have a, a bit of a walk. I'm not too sure what that's all about. If it's a, a private hire one or what. But yeah, we've even got a, uh, a bus near, uh, near Central Pier. How about that? So just near uh, Funland, making our way a little bit further up. And you can see we've got the uh, Madame Tussauds and also we've got that little uh, bubble tea, which is just uh, straight ahead there, just near Happy Days. And we have made a video on that one, uh, how they make tea and uh, a fantastic story. So that'll be coming out uh, soon, so keep an eye out for that one. And now we've just approached the, uh, the central pier and you see all the uh, rides and the lights. It's another fantastic one. This is more of a family pier, this one. With all the uh, all the entertainment, so if you haven't been uh, if you haven't been there and you think about visiting Blackpool, go and check the uh, the Central Pier out. So that's a, a bit of an interesting one. It's a Gates, I think it's pronounced Gates Karaoke Bar, and uh, just see if I can zoom in a little bit. There you go. So that all looks closed up. So I've never seen that one open. To be fair, let me know if that one is open. If you do know. Uh, or if it, or when it closed down, so yeah, I think it's pronounced Gates Karaoke Bar, uh, which is just near uh, Pat's Bingo. And that's another good one. If you haven't uh, been in Pat's Bingo, which is just uh, just in front there, um, it's a fantastic atmosphere and it's certainly worth going. It's a uh, it's from Tempe. That's amazing. And that's just near Central Pier. So this is where Stephen says the uh, the poo pipes are, and uh, if you've never seen inside the building. That's what's inside. It sounds like it's just uh, fencing and a few of the little pieces, and that's uh, all opened up. And it's like there's some uh, work being carried out, and that's just where uh, Stephen normally does his, uh, his life from. So, yeah, a bit of an interesting one. I've never seen that one opened up. And we just know the, the Manchester, which is uh, always, uh, always great, for, especially when football events on. And uh, first time I noticed, they've actually got a, uh, a family pub with a uh, indoor kids play area. So there you go. Uh, you can always uh, pop in there if you've got a family, take the kids in, and uh, you can be uh, enjoying the football in the uh, in the Manchester. So this is the uh, Smashed Burger. We did a, a bit of a video on this one. Uh, so if you haven't seen that one, uh, it is on the channel. And uh, yeah, smash burgers from a, uh, a shipping container. How about that? But at the moment, it's, uh, it's all closed up. So this is just one street off the, uh, off the promenade. I'm saying what this, uh, what this is, looks like a, some sort of trailer. It's been attacked or got at. And we've got a, we got a trolley uh, full of, it's like a old lino, things like that. And uh, straight in front, we've got the uh, the holiday shop. So what was that? Was that some sort of like, well, you to sell like little hats and things like that. Um, that all looks uh, to be gone, the holiday shop. So I haven't seen that one before. I've never seen that one open. Uh, bit of an odd place really to have a, a shop, to be fair. I know it's only one street off the promenade, but uh, yeah. So yeah, you used to sell cold drinks, stamps, sweets, toiletries, all things like that. So again, this is just a, like a little street, shall I say. Uh, one, one off from the, uh, 
of the promenade. So obviously all these are the back of the big hotels. Um, uh, uh, car park and sort of spaces and all sorts. Yes, yeah, so it's just at one street um, off the back. So just on the uh, the promenade, you uh, you've probably seen if you do live in Blackpool, you've visited this big blue board all the way around and uh, it's, a, it's a huge place I'm not too sure what this used to be but we'll go and have a, a bit of a sneak preview so this is uh, what's behind the uh, huge blue fence which is uh, goes all the way along the promenade and uh, it's a huge space so I'd imagine this probably will end up being a car park of some sort because it's a huge piece of land and it's been like this for quite a while but yeah what a what a massive piece of land so i'd imagine this would actually make a, quite a good car park and another huge property this is on st chad's road and i believe it's called the oceans hotel and a massive massive great property it looks like it's a I don't know if it's still trading, don't think it, it doesn't look like it. But you still got a couple of cars um, parked there. Looks like they're behind barriers, maybe it's the uh, the owners or they've got a key. But yeah, another huge building. Uh, massive, massive, great place. What looks to be uh, possibly gone under. And you can see just in the, in the distance, that's uh, South Pier. And again, they've got all sorts of uh, rides and attractions. You've got the uh, Pleasure Beach Resort. you got all sorts uh, up this end as well. And just in the, uh, in the distance, just to the uh, left-hand side of your screen, you see there's uh, the Blackpool Tower and the illuminations span all the way to, uh, to South Shore from uh, right the way up to, uh, to Bisbon. And uh, you can see we've got all the uh, all the hotels they've got the royal carlton the royal ocean uh, we've got all sorts um, the albion's hotel uh, so there's plenty plenty of hotels up here there's a uh, looks like there's a few looks like it's all closed down but there's still a few in uh, in operation So that is the end of the video so i appreciate you watching uh, if you haven't already subscribed hit the subscribe button uh, give the uh, video a, a like if you do like it and uh, until next time take care of yourself and it's a bye from me bye guys